Hello and welcome to another episode of the Shaver Ranch Plus Wolves. Howdy folks! <laughs> you may know, those of you that know us well, there are several, 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 several reasons we left Southern California for North Idaho. One of them is the unrelenting heat. Well folks, we're getting a North Idaho heat wave. This is 80 degrees and we're dying. So when it was 110 where we used to be, you can tell we wanted out of there. That's just one of the reasons. So, garden, we can start right where you are. Finally, I filled this up with dirt, these poor potatoes. Been needing it for a while and the fencing, netting stuff was poking all through up and the plants were poking through it. So thankfully, finally, I got that done. This poor guy, look, new growth coming in. So we here at the Shaver Ranch give our plants every opportunity to live and hopefully it's gonna come back there. We hope. Strawberries. These poor guys, you know, we had these, uh, where these two new ones are, they had two there that died, and now these obviously aren't gonna make it. I don't know what the heck's wrong with them. Did we get it from the same place we got the those two berry vines uh, that maybe. are dying? I don't know. I think that was uh, Lowe's, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's not castigate Lowe's. You know, we don't know if that was where we got them, and we don't know if that was the reason they died. It could just been bad, bad timing or I something. Know. I don't know. But these look good. They got flowers, and the onions are coming in good around them. Tires are awesome, and we're gonna show you more tires as we go. I'm getting tired of that. <laughs> I'm mean, tired of dealing with tires. Yeah. yeah. Onions are popping up, obviously. Probably the last time. Oh, I was... and you didn't mention we we're forking all of these now because. Oh yeah fork. Probably the last time I'll talk about the field asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep talking. Now here's where the big progress is. Now you may notice, I mean you may remember in other films when we were planting them that I said no nitrogen because yep. you'll get lush growth and no potatoes. Yep. No nitrogen was put in here and look how lush the growth is Boom. anyway. So you don't need nitrogen nope. for your potatoes. There's no nitrogen added and they're growing just fine. You may note this is actually a catnip plant and it's doing fantastically well as, as well. It just came in so we just left it. Also may notice that already getting flowers. That means that the tubers are setting. That means that they're starting to grow under there. Mm-hmm. Got the, our berry vine gonna explode over there. Oh Get yeah, that buds. is, I don't know if you could tell with the film, but that is very thick vines, very healthy. Mm-hmm. They're very, very, very strong. Whoops, I just stepped in a bottle. More Those vines. Vine, uh, berries. I haven't watered in a couple days because we got a lot of rain and I want the roots to grow deep. If you keep watering the surface, the roots will just be at the surface. That's so a good piece of advice. Let them grow down. I don't even think of that. Those seedlings, seeds I planted are coming in over there. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep the weeds out, but those weeds are growing great. This particular weed is very prolific. I need to find out what it is. It might be good for us. Yep. On an interesting note, it's really funny. I actually haven't uploaded the last Shaver Ranch video. That we've oh, done. well, there'll be a, a time warp in there somewhere. So for anyone who's following all of the Shaver Ranch garden updates, I still have not gotten the last update on. So They won't know the difference because you'll put that one on first and then yep. this one. <laughs> Just on the upload dates. Don't take the upload dates for the dates that we're actually filming these things. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> um, yeah, and as we mentioned before, this is the same yes. place that we got that other vine that's dying. I don't know why. don't know what the deal is, but there is new growth in there somewhere. Yep. So we're going to hope. We've got a visitor. Snooball! Snowball! He has many names. Schnool. Schnool. Oh. He's a very heavy cat. Last weighed in, he lost one pound. He's 24 pounds now. Mm, he is such a kitty. He's a big boy. Oh, you're a cat. Mm-hmm. He's a big boy. He's looking at me like, what the heck are you doing? Yep. Look at those happy... That one is prolific. Look yeah. at that. Look at that new growth right there. Yeah, and these, are, of course, are berries coming in. Oh, look at that. They look kind of weird, though. I mean, I think they do. They look a little faded. Well, I think they're just starting. Okay. So I think they'll the color will enrich in, if that's a word. Yeah. And uh, 
Of course, the flowers have come off here, so all that in there should be berries starting to form. Interesting. Uh, one note, are those weeds down there, or did you plant something else in this no, spot? No, I didn't plant anything in there, but over there is another catnip. Oh. I don't know what this is. That catnip really does grow well here. Oh, yeah. And the strawberry, it's nice oh, and happy. Oh, yeah. We kind of have those uh, intertwined in between. Yeah. We thought about putting them in other pots, and we still might as they get bigger. I don't know. Yeah. We got this here, lots of new growth. One thing I noted that I have not seen in the Very three easy. years that we've uh, lived here is just how much new growth is on this pine. There should be, um, it's brighter green on the tips. So that. that's not the sun, that's not the sun licking it. That is actually brighter green and it's, I don't know if the weather conditions are just right or something, but it is just exploding in, I in new growth. I mentioned that on the last video that hopefully they will see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tomatoes are very happy with the warmth. I'm not happy with the warmth, but the, the tomatoes are. Yeah, our garden certainly does like all this heat. Corn? Very corny. Ah, corny jokes. Uh, well, last year I put these up to scare the birds away and I haven't repeated the process. I didn't know if that was a weed or not, so I left it. By the I way, weed whacked all that. This is what happens with the DVD or a CD when you leave it out too long. <laughs> it's clear. This tomato we thought was going to die because it suffered from the cold and we just put it in a pot and hope for the best and there it is. Woohoo! Now, not all of this is corn. The problem is corn is a form of grass and so are weeds. So, <laughs> hey, what, is, gonna... what is corn and what is weed? <laughs> <laughs> corn is a grain. Uh-oh. Hey, chicks. Hello. Oh, look at all the grass clippings we mowed today. And oh, yes. And grass clippings. They're very happy with I'm that. I'm hoping it's focusing on the chickens and not on the uh, fencing that's in the mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Uh, interesting note that you told me that I didn't know about until today. Um, one of the baby chicks got out. Yeah, he was running around. Luckily, we heard him or her, ha, her, screaming because the other ones were kind of picking on her. So oh. they still need they, they still need to get bigger. Before Little they bigger. can go in the general population. <laughs> oh, they're happy chicks. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Our squash planter is turning into a potato planter. That's fine. I like potatoes better anyway. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get in there and either trim those potatoes way up or what. Because over there, I mean, that huge potato clump is going to totally wipe out the squash. It's going to squash the squash. Yeah. <laughs> This uh, this uh, video is full of puns uh, today. And it's already getting powdery mildew. I'm going to have to take care ah, of that. Jeez, that happens often. Well, I'm going to have to... I have stopped watering it as much, but it's getting too wet. Oh. So I'm going to have to stop that. Yeah, look at that huge potato. And there's squash Ooh. under there trying to grow. I think that potato plant is bigger than the potato garden area well, plants. Well, um... I'm going to have to get in here now that everything's popped up, I can walk. And I'm going to walk in here and try to do something with that potato, or those potatoes. <laughs> yeah. These guys are happy. Bell peppers. Ah, uh, yes. Rosemary, very happy. I put some... Do we plank here? Oh. Oh, we got thunder. It's like thunder. Um, yeah, I put some soil in here. I didn't put enough, and I haven't put any planks in. I'm just so busy. Yeah. That it's just really getting difficult to do all this. This whole Shaver family had been very, very, very busy lately. Yesterday busy. we went and chopped and saw, chainsawed and hauled a bunch of wood. And it was very, very hard work. We went to a homesteader's house, one step further than we are in our endeavors. Chopped down a tree and... Uh, yep. Okay, this is something that I desperately need to do this weekend. And here it is Sunday evening. It, I have to remove these because they're up against the fence or the... The netting, the netting yeah. whatever you call that stuff. And we need to get this stuff yep. set up because once we take away the protection, all kinds of mischief can happen. Yeah, we still got it all behind the chicken coop. Ah, uh, yes. This is our storage area. All that needs to go here in front of the <laughs> Again, I need to get my uh, four by fours and do something with that. It might be confusing them. This is what is usually around those pots right there. Oh. Uh, there we go. stuck it here because we had to mow and everything. Oh, so you're going to redo that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All kinds of stuff in there. I've got it all written down, but I don't yep. remember exactly. Obviously, I put a lot of squash in here because I'm just going to have it come out. Oh, uh, spluge over kind of. Yeah, Ooh, man, thing. that one's bursting at the seams. It's and ready. What I think I'll do is just loosen it. Pull it out. 
just so that the plants can grow. Very desperately. That should be my next project. We have some um, particle uh, pressure pressure treated uh, four by fours and oh, snowball, snowing, snoo, <laughs> snowball. Okay, we got to go over. Yep. To see what I did today. This Hello. lawn chair is filling in nicely. Hi, snowball. Hello. Meow. Snowball. What's wrong? Are you a star? Maybe. Cat ranch. The Shaver Cat Ranch. Ah, uh, you'd never cut that one, that tire. Uh, you got me for that last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't doing that again. These babies are uh, growing nicely. Aren't these oh, nice weeds? Oh yes, very nice weeds. I need to figure out what yeah. it is. Look at the buds there. I need to oh, know yeah. whether... I think on the last video that I have not put up yet, um, we need to ask Everything Gardens about this. Yeah, so. I want to know if it's medicinal, if it's edible, or if it's poisonous. Yeah, that's we've got a know. lot of poisonous plants coming in. Here's all the wood we chopped and everything yesterday. And that's not even half of it. We still need to go back next weekend and get some more now that we split it and found out that it's easy to split because yep. the logs that we left were too big to carry. Another interesting piece of information is that when wood is green, not only is it 10 times heavier, but... We found that out yesterday. Oh yeah, it was a chore and a half, tell me. Uh, but using a splitting maul does not work. It bounces right off like you're hitting a tire with a splitting maul. Or a wet sponge. <laughs> or a wet sponge. Uh, use a sledgehammer and a um, wedge. A wedge. Yeah, that's, that's the word I was looking for. So yeah, a wedge and a sledge works very well on getting green wood. So it actually splits really nicely. Okay, yeah. When we split it, it all goes right back here. Mm-hmm. To our auxiliary pile. Two, two widths. Two, two widths. Yeah. And high. high. Yep. Look, I used almost oh. all of the soil. All the soil is gone. Now what I did here is... Oh, you you transplanted a tire. You put it over here. Oh yeah, I put a tire over here. Interesting. This is just going to be, I'm going to plant seeds in here, and of course we have to put the netting up for the cats. Mm-hmm. And I'm, the, the deer, eventually. I'm discovering with the audience, because I haven't seen this. I've been busy uh, with other projects. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did was, the cats were indeed digging in here and one of my potatoes was like out of the soil. Uh oh. It's fine though. It hadn't really started growing yet. So I put soil on top of the potatoes, a layer, and then over here in our compost pile, that's what it's for, put a bunch of compost on top of it. All so right. the potatoes will just go right through and when they get high enough, I'll put more compost in so it can grow potatoes all the way through. Because if we tried to use dirt on all this, we'd be... Oh, yeah. Ugh. If I had in my way, I would have, you know, another three... All that dirt three piles of that. <laughs> Another well. tree, three truckloads. And then I did it inversely. I put compost in the bottom of these tires and put good soil on the top because I'm going to plant seeds. Yeah, plant seeds, not root seeds, mm -hmm. if so, that made any sense. Potatoes with good soil in the bottom, compost on top, compost on the bottom on, on these, and good soil on top. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Look at this potato. Yeah, that's, that's just nice a volunteer. I had some shriveled up old potatoes that weren't going to do anything. I had no more room to put them, so I just buried them in there. That one is growing, but that's not what I'm talking about. I just put a bunch of potatoes in there. Can you put it on it? the back side? Yeah. I, you can't see anything now. Oh, uh, yeah. Not yet. This is a nice little nook of our little area, our homestead. Mini homestead in the city. <laughs> Compost in the bottom, good soil on the top, I plant seeds in, and then I have to cover them with the netting. Awesome. Uh, what kind of seeds are in this? I don't remember. Uh, I haven't done anything yet. Oh, it's we, just... We saw the packages of seeds It's over just prepared. There. Okay. These guys haven't really done anything to since the last time. It's They're just, just kind of growing. Just potatoes. <laughs> I think we're doing these on two-week increments at the moment because having That's one fine. episode... I don't you know, think each they uh, need a weekly... A weekly update. No, not much happens this in a week. This guy's exploding, but I have to fill mm -hmm. it. It's just that experiment again where yeah. I'm just trying different ways of growing. It's kind of interesting. You can kind of see the roots going on and mm -hmm. uh, grass keeps poking out of the dirt there, so it's interesting. Just trying different ways of growing. Yep. Nice tire. I want that tire on my yeah. car. New. And of course in these old trash cans, I got them growing too. They're almost coming to the top of the trash can actually. Don't wake the kitty. Pizza boots. 
Oh, you woke the kitty. Boots. Boots. All right. Hey, he's so happy. Mm -hmm. Look at these babies. They've reached the top. Uh oh. Reached the top. See have to... that whole trash can? I buried him just a few inches up from the bottom. Yeah. Going to be full of potatoes, hopefully. Yeah. In theory, we'll In see. In theory. That's the weakest of the bunch, and it's almost to the top as well. I made sure to use the late variety, late season varieties, so those are the ones that grow the longest and will produce potatoes. If you use early season, it ain't gonna do it. It's just gonna grow at the bottom. Yep. Alrighty. You might want to mention my pants. They're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Painting projects from 20 years of work. At least 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they were so big on me when I bought them that they were falling off. And now I can barely button them. <laughs> You're filling in. Yep. All right. Just like the garden. Just like the garden. <laughs> hey, anything else? I got a bug on my arm. Oh, good. There's my bench. Yep. And that's just about it, I think. We made the rounds, so. We made the rounds. I think that's all for now. You have a good rest of your day. Yay. And like and subscribe if you enjoy these. Please. Bye-bye. <laughs>